dear learners welcome to epg patshala i am munish ahlawat from institute of hotel management dehradun today we shall be taking module number 25 title charcuterie under paper food production operations and management the learning objectives of this module are to understand meaning of charcuterie to learn the different cold cut items the knowledge of force meat and their type and uses the processing of cold cut items and their keeping quality a related but slightly different branch of larder or cold meat preparation is charcuterie derived from char quit french word meaning cooked flesh it is an art of transforming pork into many items like sausages bacon ham pate terrine brawn galantine valentine and many more history the origin of the process goes back as far as 1500 bc and it is also believed that the chinese produced some type of charcuterie as far back as 400 bc during this period laws were enforced for separation of fisheries butcheries slaughter houses and prepared meat items in order to avoid and control diseases in the 16th century charcuteries were allowed legally to butcher pigs of their own and sell raw meat as well as cooked pork product they were permitted to sell herrings or any other salted fish during lent when meat vegetables also showed up in their in their shops during the height of the roman empire sausage became very popular and they enjoyed preparations from pork chopped pine nuts and black pepper many force meat recipes and concepts brought fame to city and people frankfurters after frankfurt winners after vienna bologna after bologna italy today we have philadelphia seropoli lebanon bologna coney island dogs etc in the beginning sausages and pates were very hard to prepare as there was no refrigeration and spices needed were hard to come by hence charcuteries were appointed whose main responsibility was to slaughter prepare to and to cook the pork properly much of the credit for the popularity and expansion of sausages goes to the explorers and merchants who sailed to many different parts of the world seeking spices and herbs needed to produce the proper flavor in sausages cooking methods in fact charcuterie is one of the most adoptable of cooking methods it lends itself to an improvisational approach to cooking there is nothing exaction rigid or complicated about it once familiar with the fundamentals one can invert own specialities using ingredients on hand or whatever is freshest and in season sausages during the height of the roman empire sausages became very popular the romans enjoyed items prepared from fresh pork they were used at pagan banquets and therefore the newly elected christian emperor feels that sausages should be banned from being served and hence illegal sausage species flourished to satisfy the people's desire for this spicy food product in the middle ages a sausage maker was considered an artist who would experiment with spices and meat combinations many variety of sausages were developed during this period of time and because known by different names sausages a sausage is a meat product made from ground meat mixed with salt and flavorings herbs spices wines etc derived from the latin word salsus meaning salted sausages are a mixture of minced meat enclosed in a tube like casing sausages may be cured air dried smoked poached and pre cooked there are numerous types and many regional variations and specialities the sausage casings or skin can be made from a natural material such as pigs sheep hog or cattle intestines 
or artificially casings made of cellulose or a synthetic material. There may be man ones of sausages other than the regular ones with typical descriptions. For example, fish, poultry or vegetables may be used as the main ingredients and the mixture is not always encased in a skin, a fur or a egg and breadcrumb coating being used instead of sausages. Constituent of sausages, force meat, seasonings and flavoring, binding and texture, casings, force meat. Force meat is a mix of lean meat, meat with fat and fat. All these three are mixed together either by chopping, mincing, grinding, sieving or pureeing to obtain a smooth emulsified mixture. The mixture can be coarse or smooth as per the requirement. The name force meat is because the meat is forced through the mincer and grinder to produce the emulsion. Composition of force meat Dominant meat 40% Pork meat 30% To give body and flavor Pork fat 30% To give moistness, flavor and richness Basic procedure for preparing force meat Remove all fat, membranes, tendons and tissues from meat. Cut meat and fat into thin strips. Add seasonings and flavoring, bindings and keep the meat chilling. Chill the mincer along with the blades. Put the purer blades first and take out the mince. Chill both the meat and equipment for some time. Pass the mince. Season time through a fine blade. Keep it for chilling. Force meat is ready for use. Types of force meat. Straight type, one part dominant meat, one part pork, one part pork fat. Galantines, sausage, salami, poached with internal temperature of 140 degree Fahrenheit and external temperature of 470 degree Fahrenheit. Muslin, cheesecloth, aluminum foils. Muslin type, one part egg, Two parts heavy cream, three parts dominant meat. The rinds poached at 175 degree Fahrenheit at internal temperature of 140 degree Fahrenheit. Baked at 215 degree Fahrenheit. No line back is required. Country style. One part of dominant meat, one part pork fat, one part pork, one part liver binding panada. The rinds poached at 175 degree Fahrenheit and baked at 275 degree Fahrenheit. Line back fat is required. Gratin style. One part dominant meat, one part pork fat, one part pork. All the ingredients is pre-cooked and coarsely grounded. Pate, short crust and puff pastry filled with force meat and baked at 375 degree Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes and again baked at 275 degree Fahrenheit for 40 to 45 minutes. Pastry mold. Mousse type. Cooked vegetables, meat or liver etc. Gelatin, aspic, velute, mayonnaise plus heavy cream. Various types of mousse, no cooking. Set in molds lined with colored vegetables, meat, aspic, which can be demolded and cut. Seasonings and flavorings. Various kinds of seasonings and flavorings such as pine nuts, mushrooms, pistachio, peppercorns, etc. can be added. Main seasonings are yellow onions, spicy and sharp, Shallots, very aromatic and spicy. Scallions, very aromatic and mild. Red onions, mild. Garlic, highly aromatic and flavored. Binding, potatoes, eggs, whites, breadcrumbs, rice, panada. Texture, texture is basically combination of minced force meat and coarsely grounded flavorings and seasonings. Moreover, white preparing force meat that is mincing. The most important thing that has to be kept in mind that machine along with blades in which minced has to be made should be properly chilled as the proteins and the natural albumin that is present in the meat will get coagulated and this will give a very low quality product. There are certain federal rules and regulations that are laid down by the force meat product producing countries.
amount of water or ice present in the force meat should not exceed 3%. More water will produce a runny product and less water will result in uneven bindings in the product. Casings The distinct feature of sausages which makes it different from other force meat products is the presence of casing. Casing are divided into two types, natural and artificial. Natural sausages casings are basically made from intestines of pigs, wild boar, hog, sheep and cattle intestines. These are washed and cured before use. The intestines are flushed clean especially from the inside and soaked in 10% solution of KMnO4 for a period of 2 hours at 10 degrees Celsius. Sausages are always made with fresh intestine as these have flexibility in them. These intestines should be immediately used otherwise they toughen up and are susceptible to bacterial growth. They have shorter shelf life and cannot be procured in desired shape and size. Moreover, nowadays it is very difficult to get large number of intestines and thus it has become a costly affair. Advantages of Natural Intestines They are semi-porous and permit deeper smoke penetration. They absorb flavor easily. Generally, they hold their shape better and do not burst easily during cooking. They are totally edible and do not require peeling before eating. They have natural color and better appearance. Disadvantage of natural casings They are available only at slaughterhouses. They have to be ordered in advance. They should be treated immediately after slaughter of animal. They cannot be made into different shapes and sizes. Artificial intestine are those which are made in factories. These intestines are made of collagen, cellulose or even plastic and may be edible or non-edible. Artificial casings made from animal collagen may be edible. Artificial intestines are cheaper and can be made and purchased into desired shapes and sizes. As they are artificially manufactured, they have longer shelf life and can be handled higher temperatures. The collagen casings are made from hide of animals, whereas cellulose casings are manufactured from husks, peel, skin and seeds of fruits and vegetables. Plastic casings are peeled away before consumption. Advantage of artificial intestines They can be manufactured in required shapes, sizes and flavor. They are much stringer and preferred for commercial purposes. They are ideal for smoking purposes. They can be stored for a longer time. They are clean, hygienic, cheap and easily available. Types of sausages Fresh raw sausages These sausages require cooking by grilling, frying, poaching or boiling or a combination of all or few. The meat may be of pork, beef, veal, mutton, poultry or a combination of all or few. They are seasoned with various herbs, flavorings, condiments and spices and bound with breadcrumbs or cereal. The ingredients are minced and funneled into the casing. They are cooked slowly to avoid bursting and ensuring that they are cooked through and browned from outside. Example, Chipolata, Cumberland, both British, Tolos, Crepinets, both French, Dutch, small French country style, Chorizo, Mexican, Bratwurst, German, Luganega, Italian. Cured Sausages These sausages generally raw, preserved by drawing, salting or smoking. These methods give them characteristic aroma, texture and flavor. The methods give them characteristic aroma, texture and flavor. The method involves carefully drying the sausages at specific temperatures to through preservation and then further drying and maturing 
under closely monitored condition for four weeks. The sausages may be smoked. A good dry sausage is firm and has pronounced aroma. Cured sausages must be kept hanging in a cool place. Example, salami, chorizo, cabanas, Poland, cooked and smoked sausages. Some sausages require part cooking or through reheating by boiling or poaching. Example, German Frankfurter, which is sold, cooked and ready to eat. French Frankfurt is sold dried and smoked ready for poaching. Gendarmes are very dry, heavily smoked sausages from Switzerland and Austria are eaten uncooked or cooked in stews. Salamis Salami is general classification for a highly seasoned cured sausage having a characteristic of fermented flavor. It can be stored for a longer period at room temperatures as it is highly seasoned and was therefore quite popular in southern Europe. Few classical salami Cassiator, Cassiatora, Cassiatorini Hunter salami from Italy Salki or corn from Spain Tali salami from Hungary Westphalia from England Pepperoni Italy Pate and Terrine In French pate means paste so paste pate is a mixture of ground meat and fat minced Common additives include vegetables herbs nuts spices and wine The term is applied to only to a dish consisting pastry case shell filled with meat fish vegetables or fruits which is baked in the oven and served hot or cold the English translation of this word is pie. When a pate is baked in a pastry shell terrine, it is called pate and terrine. Whereas when it is baked in crust as pie and is termed as pate and kraut. Pate and kraut in this filling is placed into a pie which is set in a raised pie mold or hand raised and lined with thin slices of larding bacon and coating of the force meat. The force meat and the fillet are placed in alternative layers. The fillets can be wrapped in thin slices of larding bacon to enhance the appearance of the pie when cut. The top is covered with thinly sliced larding bacon. The edges should be sealed well and the top can be decorated with pastry, leaves or flowers. One or more vents are made to let the steam escape while cooking. Finally, the top is egg washed and finely baked for 75 to 90 minutes. When cold, the pie is filled with cold flavored aspic on top. One of the most famous classical dish is pate de foie gras made from goose liver paste. Pate and terrine is a meat, fish, game or fish preparation with seasoning, spices and herbs and put into a dish terrine lined with bacon, cooked in the oven and served cold. Terrines are served at room temperature. Terrine molds were glazed earthenware terracotta cooking dish with vertical sides and a tightly fitting lid, generally rectangular or oval. Modern versions are also made of enameled cast iron. The mold is lined with bacon fat and then filled with force meat. It is further covered with aspic jelly. The mold is then covered and then baked. After baking, it is demolded and cooled. It is then sliced and served. Quenelles. These are delicate dumplings made with spiced meat of fish, force meat bound with fat, and eggs and sometimes with panada added. It is then molded into small sausages or egg shape with the help of spoon and poached in boiling water or kurt bouillon. Primarily, they are used as garnishes in haute cuisine, old French grand cuisine, or they are served on their own. Léon and Nantua are famous quenelles of France and they are served as entree with cream sauce and run under the salamander grill or gratin. 
Quenelles are sometimes used as garnish of soup such as noodle, dumpling, galantine. Galantine is a French origin from the word gallant meaning elegant for the way this dish is presented or placed on the dinner table. Galantines are poached in an aspic stock and served cold as an entree. A galantine is a force meat filling in an edible case. In this case, the case is not made of pastry but from the flesh and skin of the animal which is to be used. Most common are poultry, game or suckling pig. The galantine are not baked but poached in stock and served cold, coated with aspic. Recipes of galantine de poulet, chicken galantine, ingredients, veal, pork, ham, pork fat, larding, bacon, truffles, pistachio, spices, salt, pepper, brandy and eggs and aspic stock. Method of preparation. Boil together for one and a half hours, bone, calf's feet, fresh pork skin and knuckle of veal, carrots, onion, leeks, bouquet garni with celery, madira and seasoning. Remove the bones of the chicken by making a slit and working around the bony structure. On a piece of cloth, place the deboned chicken, place a layer of stuffing, placing strips of fat, bacon and nuts in between. Roll like sausages and tie the ends securely and poach in aspic stock. Boil and simmer the galantine in the stock for two and a half to three hours and remove. Unwrap the galantine, wash and clean the cloth and again wrap the galantine with it tying the ends. Keep under a slab for 15 hours to cool and to extract excess of stock from it. Galantines can be kept for several days. It kept in cool place. It is served as a garnish in its own clarified jelly. Bellotines. These are generally small galantines made from small pieces of poultry. Meat of fish that has been boned, stuffed and then rolled and tied into a bundle. The flesh is boned, stuffed and rolled and tied up with string usually wrapped in muslin cloth, then valentines are covered with aspic and then sliced and then usually baked, roasted or braised. Valentine the poulet. After removing the leg from the carcass, remove the skin from the leg carefully to avoid tearing with the skin. Leave the knuckle and approximately 2 cm of the hock bone attached to the skin. With the flesh of the leg, make force meat sew up and the opening and shape like a small ham. These can be poached or braised for serving hot or cold. Cold sauces. These sauces are either prepared and served cold or they may be prepared hot and served cold. There are thousands of varieties of cold sauces, some well known and some indigenous. Here we are going to learn some of the cold sauces. Aspic Aspic is a crystal, clear, gelatinous meat, game, poultry or fish flavor jelly used in various cold meat presentations. The gelatin is derived from the bones used in the preparation of the stock which is then clarified in the same fashion as consomme with egg whites. Aspic can be used to set any type of food. Aspic may also be referred to as aspic jelly or aspic jelly. It is usually colorless, white aspic or maybe amber in color. Aspic not only provides flavor but also protects the food item from getting dry by the air. It also provides glaze making it more appealing to the eye. It is clear, translucent, savory preparation which solidify on cooling because of the gelatinous substance it contains. It is believed to have been derived from the word aspis, which means buckler or shield. It was in this form that the first form of molds were prepared, jelly or jelly. This is a raw form of aspic, aspic is clarified but jelly is unclarified. Jelly does not have a very high gelatinous content, where as it can be termed as unclarified concentrated stock, a base stock, white or brown 
made from not a very high gelatinous bones produce a stock which is thick and concentrated but does not have that solidif solidifying quality the stock can become thick and can get into semi solid form but it is very fragile if demolded or applied over an item the jelly is used to make sauces and glazes shofroa literally hot cold sauce shofroa pronounced shofa refers to a brown green red ivory tinted or white sauce so named because it is prepared hot and served cold types of shofro sauce white shofro sauce bechamel liters chicken aspic 350 ml fresh cream 250 ml boil the bechamel add aspic and reduce to 1/3 add cream and stir to cool adjust seasoning strain and use brown shofro sauce use demi glaze flavored with truffle essence and port wine or madeira but no cream fish or lenten shofro sauce use fish velouté and white fish aspic pink or aurore shofro sauce use fine puree of tomatoes and white shofro gran or worth press shofro sauce use fine puree of herb and spinach to white shofro precautions for making shofro always use good quality bechamel or velouté sauce always use fresh cream use only the type of bechamel or velouté that is to follow the main dish shofro sauces may be made in advance and need only to be gently melted when required shofro sauces are used only to coat the main dishes so it should not be used as a gravy or side dish always use fresh and clear shofro sauces shofro dishes are always served cold so after preparation they are immediately put in fridge for cooling shofro when set must be cut decoratively into pieces on serving dish arranged nicely Do not use too much sauce as it will harden the product. Shofro sauces should resemble the main dish in color, texture and flavor. Example of shofro: chicken shofro, pulled the shofro, fish shofro, same as chicken shofro only fish shofro sauce and aspic is used. Galantine the pulled chicken stuffed with veal pork bacon nuts and truffle truced and decorated with aspic egg mayonnaise boiled and halved eggs stuffed with mixture of mayonnaise egg yolk and seasoning decorated with aspic pate seasoned force meat covered with larding bacon put in a pate dish baked and then sliced decorated with aspic terrines are smaller pate cooked in individual small pate dishes pie same as pate only the difference is the dish and ingredients used uses of shofro sauces it helps all the individual ingredients to be stuck in place without falling over it protects the items from the air to avoid oxidation and contamination it prevents the moisture from letting out of the item prevents from infestation from insects dust and dirt it helps in enhancing taste and flavor of the food it enhances eye appeal as it glitters and sparkles under the light dear students let's summarize the classic art of charcuterie is as popular today as ever Consumers regularly enjoy high quality pate sausages hams and other charcuterie products along with various cold sauces and dips although production procedure have changed as new technologies and equipments have developed the basic principle of production remains the same terrines pates and sausages can only be produced from high quality force meats 
and temperature control is fundamental to the proper production of force meats and other charcuterie products. Thank you.